Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 53 Tarot. And we're just going to jump in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? All right, Aquarius. Now keep in mind, this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, in the North Node. So it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, uh, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Aquarius, so right away with who this is that you're dealing with, what they're saying here is they're relaxed, okay, they're comfortable, they're not, you know, they're, they're getting their rest and sleep, they feel really good and at ease here with you, and that, you know, they have love for you, there's new love that they're feeling and, you know, expressing with you towards you, or something here with themselves in a sense, but they have love for you, and then it goes to like either they rely on you they depend on you financially or they just don't want to work on anything or on themselves or like go to a job or like work and create right um they could be greedy possibly when it comes to stuff like that but either or either they're saying that they love that they can be that way or you know they're just that way anyway regardless it looks like here then they are they want progression with you they want to move forward they want you know things are happening really quick here speeding up in a sense here there's something of traveling relocating going here and there with you things are fast and fun there and then right after that now they're emotionally disconnected from you they're not a, they're not happy they're mad sad moody upset and then they don't want to close out this chapter and cycle with you and just kind of be done when they know they should thank you babe So it looks like here, what they're saying is, okay, it's funny. So they don't want to work and they don't want to work with you, but they want to make things equal with you. So then that makes them not really want to face something like the re like reality of the situation. Okay. In life. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, okay. Um, in this, what's going on here. I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to go along here, what they're trying to say here. And so they're being patient with you and planning and waiting on some stuff here with you, okay? And that's where they're going through a lot and understanding some things and making some necessary changes, which is nice. They are putting in the effort and the research and the study to kind of build and manifest and create something here with you and towards you um, and maybe with themselves. And right after that here, this is where they're not, it, it's a few things. Either they're not feeling notice or recognize they're successful enough with you or they're trying to take all that from you like out of greed right like validation greed seeking um or they have something that's worth success like it's it's there somewhere but they don't do anything with it or like are they facing you know public humiliation bad reputation like something just doesn't feel ideal or it's just pure greed either or that's where they feel excited and happy and motivated and they're moving quickly saying something to you um maybe there's good news there you know with whatever that is i don't know Okay, so now they're back to they don't know what the hell they're doing and they've run out of options and they're completely confused of what to do with themselves and with you in the situation. It looks like maybe you guys have a talk, you know, have a conversation about something or they're just well aware of what is going on in all this and what they put themselves through. So it's not like as frustrating to them any longer. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's too much of a huge chunk. I'm going to grab all that and put that back in shuffle again. That was way too much. Okay, so whatever it is, they are really burdened by what's going on between the two of you and stressed out, but they're not dropping it. They're not moving forward and making changes with it. And this is where they're not willing to kind of be in their strength with you and try hard and do some things here with you as well in the situation. They're stalling and they're not budging, you know.
okay? But what they're saying is, you know, they're willing to commit to you, the marriage, the relationship, or commit for the sake of the business, whatever this is here, you know, that you guys have whatever dynamic is going on with the two of you here. Um, for others of you, it's more so like they, they know deep down what's going on in the situation. So they're just going to kind of keep to themselves about it, right? They're still going to be committed and loyal to you in some way, shape, or form. Um, whether it's marriage, relationship, contracts of some sort. Um, they could be going to people of guidance and information or, you know, religious or spiritual, you know, guidance to figure out what to do. It looks like here that's where they end up having some sort of like financial um, standing or position. Or there's something here about, you know, putting in the effort, working, doing something here with you and towards you. Okay, but that's where, you know, um, unless this is you, but that's where they end up, once again, kind of being blocked off and confused and not knowing what to do or stressed out or, you know, having to make a decision that they don't want to make. Well, um, okay, so unfortunately for the majority of you, this is someone that's in a marriage or relationship or commitment with you here, okay? And so, geez, well, that's that's the way to go, okay? Of course, <laughs> towards the end, they hit you with the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, Aquarius. They're like, well, working with Aquarius and the marriage and relationship is all um, a sham scam for me is what they're saying. They're like, I'm not meant to be here. We're not meant to be doing this. I don't want to do this. Um, hmm. So they understand that it's been like a, now what the relationship is for the both of you is something very toxic and karmic and twisted. And so they know this and they're just going to keep riding that cycle again with you over and over and over again. Um, and that's what makes them want to continue to do a few things here. Okay. Cheat on you or stall a divorce, or maybe you guys are currently going through a divorce. Okay. Um, or just truly be unfortunately not fulfilled with you emotionally at all in the situation. Not truly commit to you, be committed to you. Okay, in some way, shape, or form, unfortunately. Yeah, that's making them not want to be themselves around you here. And they're kind of going through it and kind of freaking out and not feeling too emotionally successful here with you. So then they know that they're done with you. Okay, something's over. Something is ending here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they don't really, they kind of leave it very bland with the commitment or relationship, you know whatever's going on here, the marriage relationship, the the position, status, role, what you guys play in a sense here, what, how that, you know, whatever's going on, it's like they're just kind of bland now. Um, yeah. They've stalled things and they've gone bland because they know something's done. Okay, Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. I think I said that already, didn't I? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Thank you. Bye.